Hi all, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Nitin Kaplas. Let's talk about today's problem. Our problem name is sum of all substring of a number. Let's read the question first. Our question said we are given an integer s represented as a string. A task is to get the sum of all the possible substring of a given number. As the answer will be large, we have to return answer in the form of modulo. We have to take a modulo of answer, then we have to return that answer. Our first example is where string is 1, 2, 3, 4 and sum of all the substring is 1670. In the second example, we have string 4, 2, 1 and the output is 4, 9, 1. Let's understand this question better. So, the first string we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So, first of all, let's understand the meaning of substring here. So, substring simply tells us this, the substring simply tells us that we have to take the sequence of character, right? So, for example, uh, when I am at here, right? So, first, one is the substring, right? Now, one, two is the substring. Let me write here one, two. So, when I go further, one, two, three is the substring. We have to take the addition of these. Again, when I go further, 1, 2, 3, 4 is a substring. Okay. So, these are the substrings. When I'm at 2, so 2 is a substring. Okay. So, when I go one step further, 2, 3 is a substring. Yes. Again, 2, 3, 4 is a substring. Yes, it's also. Now, when I'm at 3, 3 is a substring. Okay. 3, 4 is a substring. Okay. So, when this 3 is finished, we have reached the 4. 4 is a substring. Right. So, when I add all these value my output is 1670 which we have to return right we have to take addition of all the substrings right now how to solve this question so simply to solve this question first solution which came to my mind is we have to do for two loops we have to use two loops here and we have to take all the substrings and convert that string to the integer and add into my answer so what's the pseudo code is first is we have to run first loop till last character okay now inside this j equals to i okay j less than n j plus plus right so inside this first of all i have to extract that substring right so using sub str function i can find that string right let me write here string str equals to s dot sub str using this sub str we can easily solve that right so first index is pointing to first uh, starting value and second is the length right which is j minus i plus one right and when we have the string we have to convert it into the integer so here i am writing the answer variable where i am storing all the addition part so here i am doing the stui function and using this i just convert that string into the integer at the end of it i just return that answer right initially my answer is zero right so using this intuition we can easily solve this problem but here my complexity is n square where n is the length of the string right but if you see constraint of this question, we have to solve this question in the complexity, time complexity of big of s, where s is also length of the string, right? How we can solve this? So, solution 2. So, my string is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Now, so if you see, let's break this sub substring, right? When let me indexing first one two three. When I'm at here, I need sum of digits. When I'm at index zero, which is all only one, right? This is the only. Now, when I'm at index two, right? Which is index one, right? So what's the value we have? Sum of digits at index one which is 1, 2. Suppose I have 1, 2 string. 
so what's the substring i can form so i can form 2 okay plus 1 2 right yeah it's correct now let's move forward when i am at index 2 let me write here sum of digits when i am at index 2 let me add here 3 here okay what's the new substring i can form i can form 3 okay I can form 2, 3, okay. 1, 2, 3, okay. So now let's add 4. When I am at this sum of digits, add index 3. So 4 is the new. Let me add 4 here, okay. So 3, 4 is also new. 2, 3, 4 is also new. 1, 2, 3, 4 also new, right? We need these. We have to add these 4 uh, digits, right? 0, 1, we have to add this, 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 right? So let's start with the last. Uh, I just uh, make a sum of digits at index 3, which is, let me write here 4, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So just focus on 4 here, right? Just focus on 4 here. I am at index this, right? Index 3. So, what's the value here? It's 4. How many times I have 4? 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just multiply 4, 4 times. Plus. What, what value we have left? We are left with, if I just subtract 4 here, it's finished. If I subtract 34 with 4, it's 30. Same here, 2, 3, 0. Here I have 1, 2, 3, 0. Okay. Now, 4 into 4 plus. If I take 10 common, right? So, I left with 3, 23, 1, 2, 3, right? Just focus on this. Just focus on this. If you compare this with this, it means that we have to calculate sum of digit at index 2 simply we have sum of digits at index 2 let's calculate sum of digit at index 2 first so here i am writing sum of digit at index 2 what's that 3 plus 2 3 plus 1 2 3 let me write here our string which is this now i am at this space this place right i am at index 2 here okay what's the value here it's 3 how many time we have 3 1 2 3 so 3 into 3 how i calculate how many time just focus on this thing this is 3 right what's the index 2 it means that it will come 3 times i plus 1 now I plus 1. I am doing here I plus 1. So you can manually check here also. 1 time, 2 time, 3 time. Plus, what I am getting if I subtract 3 from all the values, I get 20. I get 1, 2, 0. Okay. So let's do this. Let's take 10 common. I am left with 2 plus 12. Focus on this 2 and 12. What is this? 2 and 12. Sum of digit of at index 1. Let's replace this. This is sum of digit at index 1. Let's calculate this first. Okay. Let's calculate this first. Sum of digit at index 1, which is 2 and 12. Okay. Now, let me write here string again 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 now i'm at here if you clearly see what's the value it's 2 how many times i plus 1 time which is 2 into 2 let's write here 2 into 2 i'm get with 10 uh, 10 only right so 2 into 2 plus take 10 common what i'm left with 1 what is 1 sum of digits at index 0 right so this is the base case we have to write so this is sum of digit at index 
zero, right? Which is one. If I am calculating this, let me write here a DP array. So let's compute this first. So I have SS one, two, three, four. Okay. So the first value is one. Already we have to take one in the DP of zero here. Okay. Now let's take one sum of digit and index two here. So which is this is one. So ten into one is one plus two into two, which is four, right? So it's a fourteen. Let's replace and add fourteen here. Okay. Now let's move to this case. Here we have fourteen, right? Here we have fourteen. So fourteen into ten, which is one forty plus nine, which is one forty nine, right? So let's write here at index two one forty nine. Okay. Let's move forward. Now here we have one forty nine. Okay, and one forty nine into ten is one four nine zero, right? One four nine zero. Add sixteen into it. Four into four, which is this fifteen zero six. Let's add here one five zero six. Okay, now let's add all these values. One five zero six, one four nine. One four and one. Add these three. Twenty seven, which is six and one. What's the output here? Our output is one six seven zero, right? This is our required output, right? So simple. What I am doing here is, if you see here, when I am at index three, what's the formula here? It's a simple formula. So What's the formula here? Is the value is four at this index? So let's take its val into how many times it we have? It is four times. So how I can calculate? My index is three. It means that I have to add i plus one here, right? plus ten into previous value. I can say that here dp of i minus one, right? So here I am writing dp of i equals to this. Simple, right? This you have to keep in mind. So this is the required formula to calculate the substring, right? At each index. So let's score this now. So the first thing is, let's create the DP array, which is of size n. Okay. So for that, let's first write the size, which is s dot length. Okay, and after that, what's the value of dp zero? It's the first first character we have s of zero minus zero, right? Now, let me write here, create a variable which store my answer. Which is DP of zero. Initially, we have DP of zero. Okay. Now I have to run the for loop from i equal to one till n. Okay. Now we have to first uh, find the value. So my value is here. Let's create a value. Let's take a long long value equals to s of i minus zero. Okay, now I have a value of it. Now, after that, we have to create an answer, right? Plus, which is value into. We have to multiply that value i plus one times, right? And after that, we have to take the modulo of it. Plus, here we are. Take a ten into previous value, which is DP of i minus one, right? So this again we have to take the modulo of it, and at the end of it, we have to take the modulo, right? And at the end we have to return the answer. So here let's write here modulo, which is 
this okay let's check this is working fine or not yeah we have some issue let's check this okay let's do the modulo again so we have value okay now i have answer equals to value into i plus 1 okay 10 into dp of i minus 1 okay so here i am just mistaking this we have to create dp of i here which is this right after that i have to add dp of i come on below okay now let's check this yeah now it's working fine let's submit this yeah as you see all the test cases are passed right so here if you see the time complexity we are just traverse the loop right and storing the dp of i value right and we are creating we are creating a dp array so our time complexity in this case is big of n right or say as big of s where s is the length of the string and space here we are using say big of n or say big of s where n or s is the length of the string right hope you understand this question and intuition thank you so much